Ciao, boy. Sang from beautiful Dallas, Texas. Cat bang, oi. Folk mob day. And I'm out here exploring. My wife, she's got a workshop, which means, well, I'm by myself, trying to get some delicious eats in. I'm going to go meet up with someone and check out their recommendation. Been through Atlanta, been through Chicago, and I guess it depends on the area and the time of day, but I have been blown away with how crazy people are on the road here. Like, especially at night. We were driving like 8.30 at night and people are merging in and out. It's really scary, I gotta admit. So I'm trying not to film everything on the road. I got it mounted, trying to get some good shots for all y'all, but gotta stay safe at the same time. So for me, I always enjoy connecting with fans and, and he, he hit me up on Instagram a while ago, asked for a cameo, help encourage his kids to go to Vietnam. Kek bang oi, fuk mob day, or should I say kek con oi, fuk mob day. And when I got here, I realized, oh, he said he lives in Texas. So I hit him up, asked if he was free, and it turns out the day that I messaged him, he was free. I guess now we're headed to PTT. Hey, how y'all doing? Well, nice to meet you. Good to see you. Finally, good to see you, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Happy to be here. Uh, hey, how y'all doing? Nice to see you. Hey, Ciao, my noi. What's your name? Tran. Tran, nice to meet you. Bao. Bao. Bao, nice to meet y'all. Michelle. 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 Michelle, it's nice to meet you. Can I have a seat? Where should I sit? Right here? Uh, anywhere. Where All right, Kak I'm over here at Nyahang BTT, a staple here in Arlington, Texas. I was invited out by Mr. Hip. Hip contacted me on Instagram a while ago. Muno Yi, where can you out? Hello, mọi người. Tụng mập xuống đây chơi với em ở Dallas, Texas. Đúng rồi. Đang Arlington, PTT. Crazy H over Crazy here. H. So he recommended the come guy roti. Well, I'm Roy Fukumana, Mona Nai, so I'm excited to try it out. Yeah, we got a curry chicken. Okay. And we got some uh, kumgai roti. Beautiful. Known for the kumgai roti. Yeah. You gotta have with the eggs on top here. All right, with the limited time we have here in Texas, I have to make sure to get as many meals as I can. I know I tell you guys I'm on a diet, then yeah, I'm kind of keen, but today <laughs> it's out the window. We're going hard. Look at this. Oh man, this looks great. Some ao, some roi. Some ya. And hoi. Oh, and ya, mo ya. Boy, mo ngui. Bo thai ba yo ya. Yes. Thank you, sir. Let's try it out, guys. Mmm. That classic Vietnamese curry flavor. So good. So you can see this is the original restaurant in Saigon on Le Loi Street. He said four generations. He's the fourth generation running this. Been around since the 30s. Great history, great food, obviously well established because, you know, it was recommended by An Hiep over here. So very avui with the food. Very ngong mong oi. Check it out. So, not only did they introduce one of the staples of Vietnamese food in this community with the Kum Gai Roti, but now they led me over here to Vita Cane, which is Nuk Mia, and I love, love Nuk Mia. So I see they have a lot of different varieties. It's a little bit more expensive in Vietnam, but then again, everything here is. What, what do we have here? So we have a um, blended uh, sugar cane with, uh, mixed, um, with fruits, blended fruits already mixed in our mixology. We have our premium, that's two drinks in one. That's our premium drinks. And you can do your own, like how in back in Vietnam. I'm over here in Grand Prairie, Texas at a shop called Vitacane, where they have Nook Mia. There you go. Thank you. We're out in LA, all, the main stores in LA. This is the first store outside of California. We have strawberry, kiwi, and nook mia. That's really good. Really good. Stamp of approval. Kiwi berry breeze right here. Can't speak on the other flavors, but that's really good, guys. I just did that word this week. Sang Kwai. Vietnamese word of the day. 
Sanquai. Refreshing. My wife's mom gets on me all the time because when it's double words like that, I go and I switch the tones. So on high name old dem, I said, oh, it's very Sanquai. And my, my wife and her mom are watching, they go, oh my gosh, you said that on national television. I'm like, I didn't know. I was just trying to be very fun food at Yang, you know, have a little variety in the speech. Yeah. But yeah. I want to give a big shout out to Anne Hip. Mr. Crazy H for bringing me out here. Glad we connected on Instagram. Had a great time. Great uh, come gad roti. That nook me a ko yao ko kiwi re long on. And come on you. Anything you want to say to the audience? I'm a football. Come visit us over here in Dallas. Yes, Vietnamese food is on the top of the list and I plan on trying plenty while I'm here in Dallas and Houston, but tacos and Mexican cuisine in general ranks very high on my top cuisines and having an opportunity to come to a place like this that has some very authentic Mexican, well, can't pass that up. Waiting for my wife to get out of a class, figured I would look on Google, find the highest rated taco joint around here and here we are. So here I have horchata, which is a mix of rice and cinnamon and milk. I think this might be my first time trying it. It's very good. I'll let y'all in a little secret. When I grew up, we had a corner store, and in that corner store had a Taco Bell. That was my first experience with Mexican cuisine, and I know people are gonna try to butcher me in the comments saying, oh, that's not Mexican cuisine. I get it. But the dishes that are listed, Mexican cuisine. And they used to have the tacos, but then they also have gorditas. And gorditas were one of my favorite things. Now, I'm well aware that the gorditas of Taco Bell don't match that of Mexican cuisine. Therefore, I have ordered it and I'm going to see what it's all about here now. So I got tacos, flour, tacos with corn, and gordita. All right, thank you so much. And this is the hot sauce. That looks great. Okay, one of these is actually cow tongue. You know, I gotta go and try some things out. So cow tongue, got that on the corn taco. It's tiny, but there's a lot of meat. What have I been missing out on? This is great. Let's try the corn shell with cow tongue. The red one's the mild, the green's the hottest. Let's try a dab of this. It has more flavor, but the aftertaste is hot. That's really hot, oh man. Mm. And the time has come, and it's still piping hot. The gordita. Here we have the gordita with beef. Mmm, looks good. I'm curious about this cheese. It looks almost like feta cheese. That is awesome. I'd equate it to somebody trying ramen from the Maruchin ramen packets and then going to Japan and having real ramen. That's how I feel right now. Going from a Taco Bell gordita my whole life to a real gordita close to the border. It would be very dangerous if I lived close to this place because I'm hooked. I might be coming back. This is really good. No sauce necessary. Just meat properly marinated, full of flavor. We're going to go to a chessu, a place, a milk tea spot that's actually owned by a child. What? Hi. How are you? How are you today? I'm good. Nice to meet you. I'm Fook Mop. Um, nice to meet you, Fook Nice to meet you. What's your name? Olivia. Olivia. Is this your place? Uh, yes. Awesome. Well, this looks great. I like the design. Hey. hey. <laughs> nice to meet you, Tate. She sees me watching you, and she also watches you because um, the Rock Belly page follows you. Okay. And so Perfect. she's on that doing the social, so I'm guessing. Because I told her yesterday, because I saw someone post 
that you were at ballet at. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was like, hey, he's in town. And she's like, really? And then I guess she went on. Yeah, soon. that's all the comment. I'm just relying on everybody's recommendations. So here we are over at Rocket Belly. And like I said, this place is very unique. Why? Because it's owned by an 11 year old. She's over here running it. And it's even funnier because her mom is in the kitchen and she tells her mom what to do. She's the boss. What's your name? Olivia Hoy. And Olivia, what's the name of your uh, milk tea spot? Rocket Belly. Yeah. Rocket Belly. Can I ask why did you name it Rocket Belly? So um, I really like space and cats, so I I wanted to put those two things together. So I came up with a little like cat shirt. Okay. And it has like a rocket on its belly on the space suit and everything. And we're also supposed to be inside a belly of a rocket as well. What would you want to tell the audience about your milk tea shop? Someone's never been here before. What do you want to tell them about it? Uh, that it's all self-serve, they can be creative, and if they, they can like mix and match, it's unlimited toppings for the cups and everything. So this was featured on the news, Good Morning America is coming here later today, and it looks fairly impressive. One of her passions is space and astronauts, so you can see it has a sort of theme with that. Sector 1 toppings. Okay. Like the regular tapioca boba. Um, like, we have a different types of boba, so there's like a whole variety of that. And then we have like poppings, jelly, and then crystal bubbles. There's a lot of flavors. We, we want to see more, but it's not big enough, so. No, you, you have a paralysis by analysis where you have too much choice for people and then they don't know what to pick. <laughs> this looks like a lot. It's very unique here, not just because of the young owner, but also from the self-serve part. Normally you go into milk tea, you pick it, pick your percent of doing and percent of that, but here it's just, everything seems to be you make it. So step one, taste. Let's try all the flavors. Black sesame here. That's almost like Oreo, that's really good. Thai tea, I've always been a fan. Ube coconut. Honeydew. Taro, I think Vietnamese like Quai Moon. I like that. This one, Pandan. Yo, strawberry. That one's really good. It's almost like the strawberry Nesquik. Here we have winter melon, jasmine milk tea. Signature. It's gonna be hard to decide, I gotta say. But the black sesame and I think the ube coconut. I'm gonna have to go with the ube coconut. But they do have lychee as well, so. Here we go. Black sesame was good. I mean, it was like Oreo ice cream, but I love coconut so we have black tea cassia tea non-dairy creamer it's not too sweet but i need some caffeine so we're gonna go for some tea a lot of times we get stuck with that traditional milk tea and while it's good it is good to have custom options here at rocket belly so the strawberry, the coconut, mok shu ket hop, wang hao. Perfect combination, everyone. Some of you already know, but for those who don't, the reason I'm in Texas, uh, my wife is here at a nail workshop for three days. It's kind of an intensive study, if you will, with some notable people in the nail game. She asked me a while ago, would you like to go to Texas with me while I learn? <laughs> Do you have to ask? Of course. You got Mexican food, you got barbecue, and of course, a ton of Vietnamese food. So I was ready to support her and her endeavors while I go out and film my content. Uh, that being said, first day of the nail class was commencing, and then I went in to say hi to everyone. It turns out a couple of them, a lot of them, have seen my videos, and they invited me back for dinner, so yeah, we're gonna go enjoy some Boon Rio over there. They swear by it, say it's on point. I'm going to pick her up now and jump in on this Boon Rio.
kan udah buruk kelawan <cười> Alright Kek Bang Review Boon Ryu Thai lấp hạp làm nail Oh my goodness Chị ấy nói là đây là Boon Ryu của miền Bắc Không phải là Boon Ryu của miền Nam Cũng có giò heo This has a đau hổ in the nook layer It was very mau cam Let's just hope I don't mess up my shirt like yesterday. Whew. Vietnamese word of the day. Oh. oh. Of course, lamb rất luôn. Swat sack. Dum da. So with the bun rio, I said this is like a crab noodle soup. You have the uh, the chả, chả tôm, chả cua, the rio. I mean, the real deal right here. This is good. And why? So they were saying with their nail class how they need to make sure they have good food because everybody help and then sau khi học xong mất mỏi, you know, all day. So they got to make sure they have good food and they've gotten it down to a science. They've been doing this class for seven years now. Thật ra, đây là bún riu của miền Bắc. Bún riu là một món Bắc nhưng mà ở miền Nam cũng làm, just làm khác nhau, có giò heo, giống như trong video trước của Phúc. Do a great job. Obviously, they got a professional class here, and they want good food to go along with it, so I'm glad they invited me to eat with them.